Okay, it's recording. So, welcome to the Throne webinar uh, that is going to be about the new version of 3.0. And uh, I'm going to tell you um, what we have done uh, and uh, what Throne is. Uh, first of all, I'm going to say about Throne, what it is, uh, then about Throne functionality, Throne killer features, it's uh, uh, functionality that uh, not everyone has in their interfaces. Uh, then I'm going to tell you about new version, uh, what we uh, have, um, what we have added uh, to Throne. Then about T-Studio, uh, it's our configuration tool. I'm going to uh, tell you how to work with it and how uh, I will show you how to create your own project from the scratch. Um, and in the end, I'll show you some examples of um, already done projects of Tron. <clears throat> so first of all, Tron. Uh, most of you, um, or maybe not, have seen uh, Tron and uh, seen our site and uh, seen our application. If you, uh, if not, then at least download it on uh, Google Play or App Store uh, if you have uh, iOS devices. And uh, just try it on yourself. Um, nowadays, interfaces uh, for building management systems uh, mostly look like this. Uh, well, I'm, I'm a little bit sorry for uh, the right to the Fibaro system, but um, all I want to show is uh, that uh, it's all, almost the same for any, system, uh, any interfaces uh, application. And nowadays, uh, uh, it's common, you know, uh, a lot of uh, buttons and uh, the levels and sub-levels menu, uh, the, no one really thinks that uh, things can be uh, another way. But Tron uh, um, uh, has invented, and I'm not afraid of this word, Tron uh, invented uh, the new uh, approach uh, for uh, controlling the smart houses and uh, uh, automation systems. Uh, slide. Uh, so, uh, it looks like this. Uh, you have a 3D model in the center of the screen, and uh, the control panel on the side of, on the sides of the screen, and um, you can control uh, light or, or uh, drivers like uh, curtain drivers and uh, not only curtains, uh, just by clicking them on, on model. Uh, we call uh, those uh, uh, zones, as you can see uh, here is the uh, orange and yellow zones, we call it controls. Uh, they are assigned uh, uh, geometrically to their locations. Uh, yeah, the Throne is compati compatible with uh, KNX devices, with all of uh, the KNX devices. So it doesn't matter, Eberbag, Jira, Devon, or whatever. Um, every fun uh, functionality in Throne has its own color. We uh, make it divisions uh, for that, uh, such as uh, light is yellow, uh, drivers are green, uh, climate is blue, and uh, as you can see, I'll answer that. But uh, this is not all the functionality shown here. I'll tell about more uh, functionality later. Um, so, uh, as I said on the previous slide, here's the uh, here's what I said. Uh, first of all, light. Uh, you don't need to uh, control light on the side panel. Uh, as I said before already, uh, light controlled by the touching the screen in the area you want. Uh, you just uh, choose the uh, light uh, uh, density. Here it is. Uh, I mean, uh, dimmering level of light, and uh, you can uh, choose uh, the color of uh, the RGB light. Uh, uh, the color of the RGB light, uh, if uh, you have one. Uh, just by uh, long touching uh, the area for defining the color. Um, 
well, so you can uh, turn on and turn off for not just all light, but uh, also um, electrical devices uh, that are assigned to the room uh, by clicking uh, the, uh, the top button, uh, it's just sun, and uh, the bottom button uh, on the yellow panel. Also, you have may noticed uh, uh, two buttons, uh, but I'll tell about them later. Uh, these buttons are for uh, light presets. Uh, those light presets, um, uh, they allow uh, uh, your clients, uh, the customers, uh, to make their, their own uh, scenarios and uh, lighting schemes. Uh, they don't need to uh, ask uh, developers or engineers to uh, make this feature for them. Uh, but, well, I'll, I'll tell about it later. Uh, next one is curtains. Uh, curtains is uh, control just same as uh, the light. You need to touch the green area of uh, those curtains, so maybe it could be uh, uh, lamels, and uh, uh, well, maybe it could be not just uh, curtains. It can it can be everything that uh, con uh, controlled by drivers, like uh, doors uh, for your uh, garage, and etc. Um, by clicking on them, you can uh, uh, you will you will see the curtains control. You can. Uh, open them, close them, and also roll them. The next one is alarms. Well, alarms are just the same as uh, in other interfaces, but uh, this is all about the uh, people who are using it. Uh, you see, the whole automation thing is about other people. It's not about, uh, well, money or maybe uh, new features, well, about new features, uh, this is true, uh, but um, the main thing about the automation is uh, the customer. Uh, and when a customer sees that uh, the room uh, is uh, highlighted with a red frame, he knows uh, that uh, he's uh, set um, this room on alarm, and uh, he knows that he's safe. Uh, anyway, next slide is claim. Uh, on uh, climate uh, control tab, uh, you can uh, oh, have a question. Uh, okay, can I ask this question later? Maybe all, maybe one of my colleagues will answer you in chat. Uh, So climate. Um, oh, what do I say? Oh, okay. uh, in the uh, uh, climate tab, uh, I mean uh, control panel, you can uh, see uh, and you can set the modes of the thermoregulator, the AC, and uh, uh, choose the speed of uh, uh, fan, and uh, all those things are uh, took uh, taken directly from uh, the uh, thermoregulator you have uh, in your project, like if you have HDL, uh, then uh, all the modes that uh, has uh, th that device, uh, they are displayed in uh, uh, that control panel. Uh, and the same thing about all the other uh, devices, Eden, etc. Uh, also, you have, uh, we have uh, one uh, feature that um, is no uh, shown, uh, no yeah, uh, shown else. Uh, it's a temperature map. Uh, that temperature map displays uh, the temperature uh, in your uh, home, in the whole home, or maybe in just one room. Uh, but I'll get to that later. Next slide is video uh, surveillance. Uh, uh, you can uh, see the all the images from all, all the cameras, and um, what is more, you can see not uh, also the positions of the cameras. 
uh, you can, uh, if you see something in the image like a uh, man passing by, uh, you'll know where it, where it happens. Uh, and uh, this is uh, the plus of uh, 3D visualization. Uh, when uh, something extraordinary happens, like maybe a thief came to your house or maybe a water leak somewhere in the kitchen, uh, you'll have a pop-up message. And uh, by clicking on that message, uh, the display will show you the room where it happens. And if you have a camera here, you can just click on it and see what what's going on here. Uh, now, let me tell you about some further features of uh, the throne. First of all, it's uh, lighting schemes, as I said before. Uh, why do we call it killer features? Because when clients see it, they want it. They want Throne and uh, not, not any other applications. Uh, they want only Throne. For example, uh, uh, there was a, a story, a little bit ground story uh, for lighting schemes. We have a client uh, whose wife uh, was against the uh, automation. She said that uh, it costs some too much and uh, there's no practical use and etc. Uh, but uh, with all truths and no truths, uh, we uh, did it and uh, we set our uh, automation uh, to their house. And uh, when we visited them just to get some feedback from them, uh, <clears throat> uh, we found out that his wife was uh, playing with the uh, lighting schemes all the time. She just can't stop to make it. And it's uh, not only single uh, story. There is a lot of uh, such kind of stories uh, about light, lighting schemes. Second killer feature is the temperature map. As I already said, when uh, clients see temperature map and uh, see some errors that are not, uh, that do not have shown in uh, those map like this, uh, they say that, um, what the hell, we want to see the temperature here, we want to see the full picture. And, uh, um, oh, the question. Uh, well, it was integrated, uh, and uh, we are planning to integrate it. Do I need to tell more about it, Mr. Alon? No, okay, you are not answering, so I'll continue. Um, um, what do I want to say? Just interrupt me. So um, next thing is uh, uh, camera's position. As I said before, uh, Throne has um, well, it, it's shown. Uh, it was shown before, uh, like here and uh, some other slides. That uh, when you swipe the control panel uh, uh, to the left or to the right, you activate the um, monopolization mode. Uh, this monopolization mode uh, shows you some additional features uh, for the functionality. For uh, video surveillance, you can see the camera's position and the image. Uh, this is really useful and um, people, I mean, our customers uh, say that uh, they never been seen before and uh, this is really innovation. It's a new word for video surveillance, something like that. Uh, Throne makes uh, control of uh, alarms uh, more simple. Uh, for example, if uh, you want to set uh, an alarm uh, some location, uh, but you don't want to uh, set an alarm on the whole floor, uh, or maybe in the reverse, uh, I mean, set on the whole floor, but not uh, one location. Uh, 
you don't need to make uh, three clicks and uh, five uh, migrations to different uh, levels of menu. You just need to choose the location uh, and uh, uh, disarm it. Um, for example, um, well, I, I don't know, maybe some janitor is cleaning the room and uh, you don't want uh, him to be arrested by police like he's a thief or something. Uh, so you just uh, disarm this room. You don't know, uh, you don't, you do not need to uh, make this for security. Next slide. Um, most important the killer feature of Chrome is scalability. Uh, you can uh, use uh, the uh, control panel uh, not only on uh, not only on the one location. You can uh, control uh, every location with it, just like uh, well, floor or the whole house. And uh, this is the key to the big project, but this very moment, uh, we uh, oriented uh, on, uh, well, uh, some re residential sector, uh, like, you know, viewers, residents, mansions, etc. Uh, we have a lot of projects, and I will show you in the end. So, now let's talk about the new version. So, um, long story short, uh, in the very beginning, uh, Throne has its own way uh, for developing, and uh, uh, we um, created our own panel, Throne panel. Uh, at first it was Windows, then we made it Linux, but then we understand that um, uh, Throne panel is uh, not the way uh, to for developing. Uh, and we decided in uh, 2030 to uh, developed on for Android devices to support Android devices. Uh, <clears throat> after uh, two years, um, it was a uh, uh, hard two years for us uh, because we were developing uh, the iOS devices. Uh, people were always saying, "Why you don't make uh, iOS?" And uh, we we had an answer uh, that uh, you see, Android. Throne is looking really good. It's, uh, uh, it's like a bright picture. Well, it's not a bright picture uh, inside because uh, this is really uh, uh, hard uh, for uh, for developers. Uh, was hard for developers to make it work and uh, to uh, make, to support iOS devices. We need to. Um, uh, restructure all of the uh, all the well how's how's it say um, all the inner thing uh, in Throne like in uh, Throne server I will tell about it later and um, in uh, the Throne application itself um, in Throne 3.0 we have a new skins our standard skin it was black. Uh, almost everyone like them, and uh, now we have uh, light and white skins. Um, well, actually, I'm like black standard skin because this is more conservative. Um, also, we added new languages. Uh, those uh, we support right now: Arabic, Chinese, Persian, and Russian language. Uh, well, it, it has taken us only one version between uh, 2.14 and 3.0 uh, to add new languages. So it's not a problem to uh, make Chrome support another language. So right now I'm going to tell you about the T-Studio. First of all, uh, I'll tell you how Chrome works. Uh, Chrome is the software and the hardware. Software is a Chrome application. I already said about that. You can, if you are not still downloaded it, you can download it now uh, from Google Play or Application Store. If you can find it, just type in Chrome 3D, and or maybe Chrome Smart Home. Uh, you'll find it. 
known application is uh, for touch panels uh, and uh, uh, smartphones. TStudio is our configuration tool. Uh, I'll show you how to work with it later. Uh, that creates uh, the firmwares. Uh, the firmwares are uh, making, we, are, we make firmwares for touch panels if you, we want just to demonstrate uh, the project or for uh, Tron server. The Tron server is uh, by control panel. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll tell about it. Um, sorry. Uh, so Tron server is uh, uh, the our industrial uh, PC that uh, runs on Linux and uh, uh, allows that communication between uh, your finger touching the, your panel and uh, the controllers itself. Uh, also, uh, in software, we have a switch up. It's a free uh, program that you can download. Uh, and uh, it allows to make uh, the models, those 3D models that you've seen in the, set, in the center of the screen. Um, and what else? Uh, Tron server and touch panel and, uh, well, bus itself uh, must be in the one network must be connected to one uh, router. So uh, let's take a look at uh, how to create a uh, front project from scratch. Uh, the very first step is uh, from bus configurator to the T-Studio. Uh, from bus configurator, you're taking some parameters like, I don't know, group addresses from uh, ETS or um, subnet and uh, devices IDs uh, from HDL smart bus and uh, well uh, from tele teletask if you know that uh, we are taking uh, a number uh, of uh, the number of main control and number of uh, sub control uh, in T Studio uh, we using those parameters uh, uh, create the uh, locations and equipment uh, well not locations but equipment. Uh, right now, I'm going to tell you about the first four tabs. I'll show you the G Studio later. First uh, tab is the projects tab. Uh, create and edit projects uh, in their properties. Um, uh, then uh, the second tab is locations, where you can create and edit uh, hierarchical tree of locations. Uh, also, you can uh, View the equipment link to the locations and uh, the well uh, locations that have some equipment. I'll show everything later. Uh, the next step is equipment uh, where you create the equipment and uh, manage it. And the next step is controllers where you uh, type in uh, parameters that you get from bus configurator. Um, from uh, this thing, you on this step, you get the IDs of locations and equipment. Those IDs are needed for uh, speech up, uh, where you can, uh, where you create uh, the uh, groups and name it according to those IDs. Uh, after speech up, you upload the speech up file to the T Studio, where you create uh, uh, different arrangements uh, for the model. Uh, and uh, in firmware tab, oh, oh, you create uh, the uh, firmwares, uh, such as demo firmware and commercial firmware. Demo firmware is for demonstrating to the clients, and commercial firmware, as I already said before, is uh, for real projects. Um, all information about uh, your project uh, is uh, saved in T Cloud. Uh, so. After downloading the application, uh, you can uh, see the already done projects. Uh, we have a standard five projects. Uh, and, uh, uh, well, do I need to say something about it? Maybe someone wants to know what projects we have done. What is that? Anyway, uh, 
Next uh, is uh, when, if you want to see your uh, demo firmware, uh, you uh, need to choose the file in uh, project set settings menu and uh, select the file from your Android device. Uh, th uh, those uh, files uh, must be copied from your PC to the, uh, your Android device. This is available only for Android for the moment, but um, this is not a problem, I think, uh, for the future to make it for iOS. iOS too. Um, and uh, finally, uh, after uh, creating your uh, project uh, and creating the commercial uh, firmware, you download this uh, firmware to the server, and from application, you typing in uh, the IP address of the server and uh, the port of it. And after that, you loading, uploading the application to your uh, touch panel. And um, in, this, in this case, uh, the application, uh, well, the project is saved and stored on, on your uh, touch panel and can be opened, uh, can be opened at any time. Um, so right now, right now, I'm gonna show you how to work in T-Studio and how to create a project from scratch. So let's create a new project. Let's call it test weather. The text box that highlighted with red uh, must be filled with something. Um, First of all, I need to say about the T Studio. How do you get it? Um, you need to go to our Tron Partner site. It is tronvns.com slash pro and register here. After registering here, you need to register your company or join the already existing company. And after your registration will be approved, you can download the T Studio from this page. Uh, uh, also, we have a um, wiki uh, that will answer almost every question about the studio. Uh, so, anyway, here's how the studio looks. We have uh, those tabs, and um, they are divided uh, also as a logical structure. Uh, the first division is a uh, first. Uh, Tab and uh, the last tab where you can get firmware, and the second is uh, uh, locations and front end, front end equipment. Let's add some locations like big room and small room. And another one. Set some of it. Um, first of all, you need to add a touch screen panel because if uh, you're not, then there will be a, a error in creating firmware. Then let's add a uh, dimming light and switch switching light. What do you want to add else? Maybe some climate? What do you want to see? Anything else? Speaking about the uh, intercom, uh, well, uh, oh, climate. Okay, I'll let 
just oh, sensing, temperature sensing. Or maybe you want something else like heated floor or thermoregulating. Mr. Rissom. Mr. Wilson, um, get to that later. Okay, after we add some equipment, we can, um, we must add, uh, I mean, not just that, but add an engineer for this electric location, like, uh, let's say, the dimming light to the big room and the switching light to the small room. And the uh, temperature sensor. Uh, to the big one, so. okay. Up to that, we have uh, those, you can see, labels, uh, or you can say IDs of uh, the locations and uh, all the equipment here. Uh, those uh, labels are we need uh, for creating our model in SketchUp. Uh, but first, let me show you uh, how to uh, view the uh, equipment that uh, the equipment that assigned to the room. Uh, when you choose room, you see here the window engineer in this location, uh, and you can see the equipment. If you want to see the room where where is the selected equipment. Just uh, choose here locations with selected equipment, uh, press this button, switch to highlighting mode, uh, and choose the equipment. I'll show you, well, just two room project, two rooms per project, but I'll show you later with uh, bigger projects how it works. Okay. So we have those labels, and now we can create our project and uh, Sketch. Let's say um, it's gonna be something like this. Using uh, the yes, you can create uh, your three D models in AutoCAD. Chop is useful with that because you can uh, uh, you can import from AutoCAD file to the Chop file. SKP. Using the offset tool, we're gonna create walls. Well, first we're gonna make uh, the wall between two rooms. This. Now using the offset tool, we're gonna make walls. Now using the push pull tool, we can raise our walls and draw some doors and windows. Well, it's not window, it's still the door. Oh, but for very small people. And using push pull tool. Now, the first thing we need to make is uh, the navigation zones. Navigation zones is locations. I mean, um, using the offset tool, once again, we'll make the set for those navigation zones. Let's double click on it, make group. We're making group because uh, yeah. Group is the unit uh, that T Studio understands, and uh, the location and uh, devices uh, 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 need to be joined into the groups. So let's uh, for navigation zones it stands uh, for N, and uh, big room. Is, uh, has label two and small room has label three. So, 
small room is gonna be M3. Like this. Now let's make them big room. Double click. Here it is. Um, now we need to hide those groups just to create some other things. Uh, what is next? Uh, we have a switching light in a small room. So let's make it. Well, it's not set to uh, every time. We can um, make everything we want, just like this. Double click on it, make group, and uh, the switching light has label 3. D stands for devices, and uh, we created, almost created, uh, the uh, group for the switching light. I said almost because uh, for devices and equipment we need to create the subgroups. Those subgroups uh, um, uh, allow us to see to understand that uh, this group is the devices. Uh, it's from the devices. And name it as S uh, stands for well some region. And here's the same. Light has two, it's labeled two, so it's gonna be D2. Triple click, S again. And what we have else? We have a temperature sensor. Uh, Mr. Wilson, can you hear? Well, I will continue. So let's uh, hide those groups again. Right. And uh, and that finally some temperature sensor set to. Temperature sensor has label 4. So name it D4. And uh, its sub, sub group is going to be S. Well, it may look looks hard, but really it's not. Uh, on our wiki, you can find all the information about the creating the 3D model of blank uh, You can uh, see how to name it, how to name groups. Here it is, uh, S, uh, that region for sensors. Uh, and, uh, well, surveillance camera with a body and that beam. Well, maybe you want to see how to add uh, some surveillance camera. Anyone? Just uh, creating in once again. I'm gonna open the already existed uh, project. Uh, you can download it from our uh, client part of the site, uh, as I showed before, uh, from partner site by choosing 3D modeling drone. And here, here are those models. You can uh, take the examples of cameras and uh, curtains, etc. Anyway. Here we have some cameras. We're just gonna copy it from here to our project. Let's make it like this in front of the front door. Yeah. 
like this. And let's add it to the T Studio. Um, so that's camera. Right here in surveillance camera, you can uh, set the um, address of it. Uh, also, well, maybe login and the password if it needs. And uh, also, you need to uh, choose the codec of it, like MGPEG, MXPEG. MXPEG is from robotics. I've seen something that's asking about it. Um, anyway. Camera's ID label is 5. So let's name it. Let's name it D5. So now we have fully created project in SketchUp. Let's unhide those groups we hide it. Well, not you, but me. Unhide. And now we need to export this. Well, first of all, I'm going to show those who are asking about the AutoCAD. Um, here you can see the 3DS files, and uh, you can find it. Where is it? Uh, an AutoCAD file. Even JPEG files, you can just uh, lay them in the bottom so you can uh, create the, uh, the 3D model from uh, them. So now uh, in uh, model stuff, we gonna. Uh, add this file, Collada file. Uh, well, not just Collada file we have here, we have also a Dmodeler. Dmodeler is uh, our own, our own uh, 3D modeling uh, thing that is going to be uh, placed uh, in uh, the T Studio. Uh, we're testing it, so we think soon it's going to be available. Let's get the file. Here it is. And now let's move. Oh, well, I need to save all this thing once again. Um, when you're choosing here something, uh, I need to check if I can do. Okay. Um, when you select the location, it's highlighted here. Well, let's pick a big room. It's highlighted. Uh, and let's check some. Devices. So here it is. The next three tabs is uh, models, arrangements, and firmware. Uh, in arrangements, so we said the arrangements. It's kind of logical. Let's say the first one is going to be like this, and uh, the another one like this. Those arrangements are shown uh, in in your Throne application, you uh, well, you can just uh, tap on uh, the screen and uh, see uh, how camera will change its position. Um, all this, uh, those things are presented in this video. For big room, let's make an arrangement like this. So now our project is fully complete. Let's uh, make it firmware. Well, we have uh, two types of uh, firmware. As I said before, it's commercial and demo. Um, we need the commercial firmware. Oh, no, we need a demo firmware, as I'm going to demonstrate it to you. This is not a, an already project. Um, now it's pending. 
as soon as, as it's going to be a success, we're going to upload it to the uh, touch panel and I'll show you. Here's one tip I didn't uh, tell you about. This is a controller step. Uh, controller step is where you can uh, configure uh, the throne server itself. Um, I showed in a picture of it before uh, where you can type its IP address uh, in your net network. But then uh, to the throne server, you can add uh, the JDL bus, KNX bus, and tilt task. Uh, let's add what do you want to add? A JDL or KNX? Or maybe tell it us? Anyone? No, okay, I'm gonna edit my choice. Let's say it's gonna be a JDL. For HDL, you set the IP address of uh, the bus and uh, uh, the subnet and the device number of the phone server as it is connected to the bus as the device of the HDL bus. Um, then uh, we can choose uh, one of the controls of the HDL bus here. Uh, let's say, well, we have uh, dimming light and switching light. Uh, it's going to be a single channel. After adding it, um, you can edit the subnet, uh, the device number, uh, and the channel. Yes, Mr. Patel. And uh, after creating the, all the controllers, we need to uh, really choose uh, the device we want to connect with it. Uh, choosing the management type is simple. Uh, choosing the ingredients and press the button uh, connect to sel selected front end equipment. Now let's check our firmware. It's already loaded. Let's upload it to the to our touch panel. Let's put it in download. Just wait a little bit. After downloading to the device, uh, we can So, uh, I can see my camera, I don't know why. Uh, here you can see we choose the from menu in the bottom of the screen. Um, here is the Russian language, but this is not a problem. Let's pick the English one. Um, this is all language. Now let's uh, choose uh, from the project settings file menu and uh, choose the file we want to up download. So file, file. Sorry. And load this file. Okay. File is downloaded. And here's our project. Manage all the, uh, all the light groups and see the temperature. Um, well, for some reason we can't see the camera, but I think I know why is it because we didn't assign the camera to the room. Uh, for example, let's say it's, it's a big room. Well, uh, this was, that was a little tutorial about how to create a drone uh, project from scratch. Uh, let me show you some real projects uh, we already have, like, well, well, 
some of you may know, the uh, HDL uh, showroom. Where is it? Find it, here it is. Here's an HDL showroom, as you can see. Um, we have here, we have uh, light, uh, 16 cameras, uh, those digits and uh, the braces is the amount of the equipment we have, um, some climate uh, fan, sen temperature sensors and thermoregulators. Uh, well, and they are all connected to the HDL Bus Pro uh, with those panel uh, stands for, you know, thermoregulators, uh, sensors are for diff different kinds of sensors, and single channels are for lighting. Well, trial version for what? Mr. Wilson, can you answer? Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I'm asking about uh, the trial version for Threator, the complete software that we can uh, just try with it for some period, for 30 days or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah. okay. we have a solution for you. Uh, we have uh, a Windows uh, server. Well, you, you've seen our uh, industrial server, but uh, else we have a Windows server. This is a two and a five uh, megabytes uh, file that uh, can uh, help you uh, with uh, your real project. But this is only for testing and uh, for showrooms. It's only for installers, not for real customers. Okay, but my aim here, okay, is to get one trial version to give it to our team, you know, so in order just to practice on it before ordering. Uh, I mean, well, we yeah. you don't need uh, to have a trial version because V Studio is free. Uh, well, what else is free? Our wiki is free, and uh, the Windows server is for free too. But this is only for testing purposes. Okay, once again, okay, what's not free? Uh, what's not free? Uh, it's our Chrome industrial server that, uh, that is, uh, must be used to for real projects. Okay, the industrial server need to be ordered through you? Uh, yes, and uh, you can uh, talk about that with uh, my colleagues uh, that are responsible for commercial stuff. I'm more into well, technical support. Perfect. Yeah. So, okay. Um, so, let me uh, show you some real projects we have done already. Um, this is a uh, uh, mansion uh, somewhere in Arabia, I guess. Uh, it has light. Well, you can see it's by itself. Uh, climate, uh, alarms, and uh, video surveillance. Uh, the next one is uh, the villa somewhere in Russia. Uh, it wasn't hard to make it. I remember that project. Uh, that one, well, this is in Saudi Arabia too. Uh, oh, Mr. Tarek, uh, can you please? Uh, uh, Tell more about your question. Ask something else. What do you mean? For which products? Like Cbus, Lipsal. Um, I said what? Um, okay, we. Um, this is uh, the question of uh, first of all of money. 
uh, and uh, for for a time, uh, we don't have uh, uh, a lot of power. I mean, uh, staff power, stuff like personal power uh, for, uh, for uh, adding some new uh, passes to our functionality. Uh, and uh, if you want uh, to to add something, uh, you can contact uh, my colleagues uh, for analyzing uh, this situation. If uh, those uh, um, projects uh, that you have are uh, really good and aggressive and going to bring uh, uh, some benefits, we'll integrate it easily and uh, well, really fast of something like a map. Okay, the next one is the residents uh, in uh, South Africa. Uh, this is uh, one of our demo projects. So you can see it in uh, the application if you downloaded it. Uh, uh, it's called... Uh, Yuri, yeah? I'm sorry for interruption. What the maximum IU points can be fitted through the throne software. Uh, can you repeat once again? <clears throat> Sorry, okay. I'm asking about the maximum number of devices can be connected through the throne software. The I.O. numbers. Uh, well, there is no limitation for it. No limitation. So, whenever we need to order the software, how to order the software? I mean the server software. Uh, you can contact uh, our managers and uh, uh, my colleagues, so, uh, as I already said. Uh, this is not a problem. We're going to deliver the server in a week or something. Okay, just, uh, I got it. Okay, just uh, in order to have the complete Throne software, that one is free of charge. So I can register on your website, then I can download it. Am I right? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Okay, then in order to activate the server, I have to order through you. Yes. Okay, that one is a hardware, so I mean uh, server or only the license? Uh, once again? <clears throat> the server that need to be ordered. Is it a license uh, or no. the physical? Industrial PC uh, server. Uh, it's a physical industrial. Uh, well, I can uh, add my colleague uh, Ivan. He is responsible for commerce, uh, so he can uh, tell you more about it. Uh, but let me just uh, finish my presentation. It's just a pair of four examples. Perfect. That's all. Take your time. Take your time, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the last one. Uh, well, it's not the last one. It's uh, two in Russia. Uh, it's uh, somewhere near Moscow. And uh, this is one somewhere near St. Petersburg. Uh, and the last one is the yacht. Uh, well, uh, you may have seen uh, the uh, interfaces for managing management of the yacht uh, before, but I'm sure you, you've never seen uh, something like this before. Uh, where you can see uh, where are you situated and uh, where is the what is going on on the yacht. Yeah. So thanks for your attention. And now I'm gonna uh, add my colleague Ivan to uh, our talk. Ivan, you're added. Hello. Hello, gentlemen. Can you hear me? Yeah, we are here. Okay, great. Uh, first, uh, I'm uh, very nice to see you all here, and uh, thank you for your attention and thank you for your interest towards our product. Uh, so let me uh, let me answer your questions. Uh, yes, here I am. <laughs> let me answer your questions regarding the uh, hardware and the, the firmware and the cost. So basically, you have uh, two ways of uh, ordering uh, throttle. Uh, as Yuri already told you, uh, to make it work, you, you need a hardware server and uh, to install a firmware downloaded from T-Studio to the hardware server. So, 
uh, you first uh, firmware. What is this? Uh, uh, firmware is um, is a special uh, file uh, that which you download from T Studio, as Yuri showed. Uh, then you need a hardware server. You can uh, order this uh, server from us, or you can order uh, the server from uh, any Advantech, uh, Advantech uh, dealer uh, from your region. Uh, you can contact with them and uh, purchase uh, the servers separately, independently from us. And after that, we will guide you how to install firmware to this server. Uh, also, you can purchase this uh, from uh, the server from us, and uh, it will come already set up, and uh, uh, all the hard all the firmware will be installed uh, on it. But it can take uh, more time because uh, because of the distance, you know. So, but actually, uh, uh, for for us, it's uh, not uh, our purpose to. Uh, operate with uh, logistics and to operate with uh, hardware uh, and so on because we have uh, Russian post and uh, we have Russian uh, custom service which are uh, sometimes they will work uh, slow slowly okay I uh, I'll try to answer other questions if if this one is uh, understood well, Ivan, before we move it further, okay, just I need to clarify one point else. Okay. Of course. Okay, are you with me? Yeah, yes, I hear you, please. Yeah, perfect, okay. So, Ivan, now, okay, yeah, in order to operate that own uh, software, okay, that one, as I understand from Yuri, it was uh, uh, to be downloaded from your website, free of charge then we have to order the server. The server that you're going to charge us, right? Based on that, is it based on the size of the project or what exactly? How are going to charge us? Uh, I understand your question. Yes, uh, if you will uh, look through yeah. our... I mean medium, large scope, okay, or how, you, how are you estimating that one? Small, yes. medium, large, what? Is, are you taking into consideration? Okay. Uh, basically, we have a division uh, uh, in our price list. If you will see it, uh, you will find that we have division between uh, residential and commercial type of uh, projects. Uh, so all the rich residential projects have uh, the same uh, fixed uh, price. Uh, no matter uh, which uh, systems do you use and how many uh, devices and client devices, uh, smartphones and tablets and so on, uh, this cost is uh, about one and a half thousand uh, euro. Uh, if we, uh, but uh, it, it is it, this project uh, should have a residential uh, uh, application uh, and uh, use uh, usage for residential uh, purposes. If we have a project for commercial purposes, uh, like a cafe, restaurant, hotel, or office, or uh, anything, uh, we, uh, we we use uh, three three uh, kinds of calculation. Uh, if we have uh, 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 from zero to five hundred control points, uh, then the cost is uh, about uh, three thousand euro. Uh, if we have uh, from 500 to 1,000 1, uh, control points, then uh, the price is uh, 6,000 uh, euro. Uh, if, uh, Sorry, Ivan, before moving further, okay, just let me understand what do you mean by points. Okay. Yes. Is it a group addresses or you are meaning okay, the physical IO points? So the switching on, it's a one point. Okay, switching yes. off another point or the group addresses okay for example we can connect one circuit okay to the entire uh, I mean three switches so that's one okay what do you mean exactly by the point no uh, uh, your answer to your, uh, your, your own uh, question correctly that uh, we count uh, one device as a control point and uh, to simply put you can open T Studio and uh, in the panel front end equipment, by the way, Yuri, 
can you make me a presenter uh, for I could uh, share my screen? Okay, not a problem. Okay. Uh, in the yes, could you please switch off your microphone? Okay. Uh, in the front-end equipment uh, panel in this studio, you can see the count of devices. Correct. Uh, do you see my screen? Yeah, we can see it. So here uh, is the counter of uh, devices. Uh, according to this, you can uh, quickly understand which kind of license uh, you should use. Okay. Is it Based on, based on, on the, the quantities of items okay, in front of me, yes. so is, is that one taking okay the small size of the license or what exactly? Uh, excuse me. Once again, uh, if uh, a facility has a residential use, if someone is going to live there uh, as in a house. At the villa or something like yes, that. Yes, yeah. yes. Yes. Uh, oh, uh, then it is... Uh, uh, <coughs> type of license which is called uh, throne house, but uh, it also has uh, limitations because, uh, uh, well, uh, for avoiding any misunderstanding, we put uh, convenient limitation uh, in uh, one and a half uh, thousand square meters uh, uh, area and uh, three uh, floors uh, height of the building. In case of uh, the building is higher, uh, we should uh, uh, we should consider this issue separately because uh, it doesn't look like a residential building. But anyway, it's uh, uh, we go straight forward to our partners, and uh, I think that uh, we will find uh, uh, the way to operate together. Ivan, now yes. just let me ask you, okay? from us in order to provide you to get for us the code. So what do you want from us? To get the what? The code. I mean the price. Ah, the, the cost. Okay. So, yeah. Please uh, send us the floor plans and the explication uh, description of the building uh, from uh, uh, architects or designers and uh, we can calculate the price together. Okay, that Perfect. one is for the floor plan, right? Yes. Okay, and what about uh, uh, if we need to understand the integration for the BMS, for the building management system for the big projects? Okay. So, what do you need? Uh, so, okay. uh, first, uh, floor plans, of course, but uh, also we, we will need the list of devices which you are going to connect with Throne. Uh, at least uh, uh, your preliminary understanding of this list, because uh, it will be clear if it will be over over 1,000 or over uh, 500. Uh, so uh, we can uh, estimate uh, the type of license. So the list of IO point list. This is what you are looking for. Am I right? Yes. Yes. The list of IO points. So. For example, each temperature sensor you consider as a one point. Each switch you are considering as another point, and so on. Exactly. Am I right? Yes. Okay, so, and after that you're going to size exactly what kind of license do we need. And yes. based on that you're going to quote it. Yes. Correct. Okay. Commercially, comparing to Nitex. Do you know Nitex? I'm not sure I understand what is it. Okay, it's a kind of uh, similar to your, I mean, software, okay, that will allow to give you a different integration, a license for uh, building management system, mechanics, CCTV, all the stuff. Okay. Okay, and they have uh, almost the same features like yours, like Thron, you know, and uh, uh, I mean, commercially, how it's compatible to your price to them? How it is... Uh, competitors. Competitors? Yes. 
Well, I'm not sure we compared uh, the price uh, of our license between uh, uh, with uh, this uh, product because, uh, frankly speaking, I'm hearing for the first time and uh, we didn't examine them. But uh, anyway, um, we have uh, a product of uh, definitely separate, uh, separate uh, type and uh, it is unparalleled solution. Uh, which is uh, uncomparable with anything else. Uh, that's why we don't see reasons to compare the prices and to uh, to make uh, them uh, to make them comply to anything uh, of uh, to any systems. Uh, why are you asking uh, this? Uh, do you mean that the price is too high or too low? Could you please specify? Did you mean? Uh, well, okay, I have uh, roughly okay an estimation because we have deal with a different company uh, that they are selling the same solutions, you know, and I feel that uh, uh, it's a little bit okay higher than the others. Well, could you please t tell the prices that you mean? Uh, which prices uh, you consider not high? Yeah, for example, you said for the up to the 500, you're gonna charge 1,500 euro. Am I right? Yes. Yes. So that's one. Okay, it's a little bit okay, but I need to understand: is there anything else need to be included, with or or only this is the only one? The 1,500 need to be paid. Uh, yes, this is the cost of the license. Uh, what uh, do you mean by included? Yeah, I mean, is there anything else need to be added to the price or only this one? <laughs> oh, I understand. Uh, if you like will... A dongle, like such a dongle price, okay, any accessories else okay, need to be added? Excuse me. Could you please switch off the sound there? Because I'm hearing myself. Excuse me. Uh, yes, uh, this is all that you have to pay. Uh, in case, um, in case you will deal with uh, designing of 3D model uh, by yourself. Uh, if you want to us to make the 3D modeling and uh, configuration in T-Studio, it will cost extra. In case of residential project, is, uh, it is uh, eight, uh, 800 uh, euro. Is it clear? Yeah, that's perfect. I got it. So there is some accessories need to be added, okay, so for that one. So I appreciate it, Ivan. Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, any other questions, please? Any surveillance camera? Yes, we use uh, IP cameras and uh, of uh, any model. It doesn't depend on the brand. Uh, at least uh, we didn't meet any problems uh, at the moment uh, so far. So if it, this camera is IP, uh, it is supported by strong. Can you hear me now? Okay, uh, regarding the price of the uh, license, uh, we have just talked before. If you need, I can uh, say it once again. Uh, by the way, as soon as you uh, will uh, uh, register on our partner website, uh, the price list, the current price list will be available for you right away. So uh, the best option is to register and uh, have a price list uh, by your hand.
uh, again, uh, one and a half thousand euro, one thousand five hundred euro for residential uh, projects. This is the cost of the license. How about support? How does it work? Well, uh, previously you could see Yuri. He is responsible for technical support. Uh, as soon as he gets your message, he helps you uh, as, um, as well as he can. Uh, actually, um, um, we, uh, we don't expect much problems with uh, our system, but uh, in case you need, uh, the support is free. Right. Yes, the time difference uh, is an issue, but uh, for now we have, uh, uh, we can't uh, make it 24-7, uh, but uh, hope that uh, later we can afford this. Uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, this is... You have, uh, yeah, 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 please. Uh, you can just uh, let me know. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the server, the hard server, uh, is that a specific server need to be with a specific technical, I mean data, that need to be purchased or we can purchase our own server as usual for different type of projects, okay, like a building management system, we got a normal server, I mean, okay, or something like that. So, uh, what, what kind of specification or the server can be run on for Throne? Okay. Uh, the Throne uh, system doesn't uh, require uh, uh, much uh, from the hardware. Uh, but uh, if you use uh, any computer in automation project, uh, it should uh, comply to some uh, requirements uh, regarding its uh, form factor. like. Uh, uh, it should be uh, DIN rail mounted, uh, it should be compact, uh, it should uh, uh, work uh, uh, redundant, and it should be reliable, right? So, uh, we selected uh, the Advantech hardware server um, because it uh, uh, complies to our demands, to our needs. Uh, if you will find uh, a server which uh, is uh, may, it may be Windows based, uh, uh, which uh, you find reliable. Uh, we can um, guide you how to make a Throne server on the base of Windows. Yes, because mostly we are working on the Windows, and we we are uh, I mean including everything in one server. We cannot I mean make a special server for Throne or for the building management system and all the stuffs. You yeah, know? That, oh. that is possible. Yeah. So, and, and and another question here, okay, for the uh, uh, throne, okay, with the integration with the building management system, are you integrated through the router or the gateway with the IP address? For example, for a native backnet. Uh, no, we don't have uh, direct integration with uh, backnet, but uh, as far as I remember. Uh, uh, there are KNX uh, and HDL uh, gateways to BACnet and to Modbus, so you can connect them through gateways. Have you done any project, okay, for the big volume points, okay, for the building management system or not? Uh, depends on what you call uh, a really big project. I mean, yes, okay. we have, we have uh, college, hospital, something like that. We have uh, uh, yeah we have several projects of that uh, kind of that size. We have uh, office project. Uh, we have um, data center or a project uh, concert hall, and uh, some projects of uh, uh, smaller scale, but uh, functionality uh, is the same as for big, big projects. Okay, but this one, it was a backnet base? Uh, no, we don't uh, deal with backnet uh, back at all. But if you need, uh, it is tested and we can use uh, gateway to connect them. So, what kind of gateway? 
is that gateway proposed through you or we have to get a gateway? No, no. Uh, this is a standard gateway which uh, you can purchase from uh, any dealer of uh, KNX or HDL Bus Pro. It's uh, their hardware and we don't uh, sell this. So basically your basic integration will be through the IP address. Am I right? Yeah, yes, correct. So you, you fully integrated through IP address. So any anything we have to connect to Throne should go to IP address, then it will be uh, appearing or simulated new software. Yes, I guess I understand you correctly, and that is uh, true for what we say. <laughs> because it's a kind of technical question. Uh, if uh, you uh, uh, let me check if you really understand and uh, if uh, you correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's right. You're correct. I'm right. Yes. Okay. Perfect. I thought you are speaking to Yuri. That's why. Yes, uh, we, we are listening to you together. Oh yeah, okay, perfect. So, uh, any other questions left without an answer? Let me check, please. Are uh, you based in Moscow? Excuse me? Are you based in which city? Moscow city? We are, we have a head office in Yaroslavl, it's a city near Moscow. Yeah, Yaroslavl. Yes, that's right. Okay. Uh, Mr. Renato, uh, we don't have uh, uh, any solution for small screens, but actually any screen uh, uh, starting from uh, 4.5 uh, inches is okay because we have a dynamic uh, uh, resizing algorithm which makes uh, uh, which resizes the buttons in the interface and uh, it looks uh, good enough. Uh, actually, we don't think that uh, you should use any smaller devices for control of your house or for automation, for building automation, because uh, uh, it will not be convenient. So uh, we comply to our concept, and uh, it's equal for any type of screen. Is there any price for unlimited points? Uh, we will think about that, but. Uh, uh, if you have a project, a really big uh, project, we can uh, make the, this price about uh, with the limited points if you want. Uh, but uh, actually, it should be more than 1,000 uh, points. And if you have a project like this, we can uh, discuss it separately. Not a problem. Ivan? Yes. Do you have a reference project in Saudi Arabia? Uh, we have uh, several uh, requests from Arabia, uh, but this, uh, uh, these projects are, I'm not sure uh, about their status because uh, they're all in different stages. Uh, some of them are uh, our partners are negotiating there or the, the uh, customers are just considering our uh, pr proposal or something, but uh, uh, we don't have any finished projects in uh, Arabia, so if you mean this. What about the Gulf region? Uh, the, the same, the, the Gulf region is, yes. Perfect. Okay, nice. So, gentlemen, if you don't have uh, any more questions with, to me or Yuri, 
Uh, thank you very much for coming today, and I hope this webinar was useful for you. And also, I hope that uh, we can uh, arrange uh, cooperation with uh, all of you. Please, uh, if you will have any more questions, you all have my email. Uh, you can ask me or Yuri. Uh, and uh, I hope that uh, everything will be fine, and uh, we will have an opportunity to work together. Sure. Thanks a lot for your time. Uh, thanks to you, too. Have a nice weekend. Thank you, buddy. What about IP phones? So, uh, let me pass the word to uh, Yuri, and uh, you will discuss uh, IP phones. And uh, I say uh, goodbye to you, and thanks. Thank you for your time. So, okay. can you see me? Hear me? about the IP phones. Yeah, okay, I'm back. Um, well, as I said, some of you already, uh, well, in person, in person uh, chat, uh, that uh, we supported intercom systems before, but uh, uh, when we migrated to the iOS, we need to uh, recreate it once again. So I think we're going to make it in the next uh, version. Uh, I mean, 3.1 uh, for uh, uh, this is going to take uh, somewhere like a month. And uh, we will have an intercom system. I think you're asking about. Am I answer to the question? Great question. Anyone? Mr. Alan? Yeah, okay, so I guess if there is no any other questions, we can end here. Yeah, okay. You have, and you can contact me um, at any time. I'm available 24 to 7. So, okay. So, goodbye, guys. Have a nice time of the day, wherever you are. Thank you. Okay, bye.